With Synchro's SNMP support, you can monitor your customer's network assets side by side with their RMM assets. Best of all, there are no additional agents to install, requirements to meet, or additional fees you have to pay. So let's take a deeper look into what this all looks like. So much like our RMM assets list, we have a list for your SNMP assets. And you can of course sort these columns or filter by type and customer, or just search for a specific SNMP asset if you wanted to. So let's create a new SNMP asset and see what that looks like. So at the top here, I filled out some basic information like a friendly name, IP address and port, along with the customer and RMM asset I intend to use to monitor this SNMP asset. Now we also have asset types. We've added some common ones here by default, but you're free to add your own custom types as well. Much like with custom RMM asset types, you can add unique custom fields applicable to each specific type. So now that we've got our basic information filled out, the next thing you'll want to set is the optional offline alerts. If the alert goes offline for the desired amount of time, you can be notified. You also have the option to auto-resolve the alert if and when it comes back online. So next we'll define what specifically on this SNMP asset we want to monitor. An obvious one would be toner level. So let's go ahead and add one specifically to monitor black toner levels. So here I've given the OID a friendly name, and I've assigned a unit name, which means an identifier that comes after the value. For instance, if we read this OID value as 50, this will display it as 50% within Synchro. Next, of course, we have the OID itself, and we'll tell Synchro that this value is a number so we can properly set the appropriate thresholds. After adding the OID, you'll notice that we'll get some live feedback here on the page. This will confirm the OID was found, and the tooltip will contain the value so you can be sure you've got the OID value you were expecting. Now the threshold is optional, but you're probably going to use it in most instances. So in this case, I'm going to set one. We'll say throw an alert when the toner level gets to 20% or less. There's also an optional threshold duration, so instead of alerting right away, I could choose not to throw an alert until, say, 24 hours later, giving the on-site staff the opportunity to replace the toner on their own. When this alert fires, you can also append them with your own custom messages if you wanted to. And of course, these alerts can optionally be auto-resolved as well if and when the threshold no longer applies. I've gone ahead and added an OID for each of my four toner types so we can see what this looks like. So this is our SNMP asset record. You can quickly see a rundown of all your OID values, their assigned thresholds, and whether or not any of them are currently breached. So I purposely set the yellow toner levels threshold high so that I could trigger a breach. So if we go over and open our alerts, we can see that we have a new one for our yellow toner levels. Now for all intents and purposes, this device behaves like an RMM asset in that it generates alerts, can be associated with tickets, and the alerts they generate can be processed through our automated remediation module. Now what if I've got 50 of these printers deployed? Do I really have to type all of that information in for each one? Well, the answer is no. We've created what we're calling OID recipes. These are templates of OIDs scoped to specific SNMP asset types. So here's a list of our recipes. You can see we've got a few printer monitors and another one for Synology NAS devices. Now when I drill into this, you'll see I've recreated the same list of OIDs I was using before, but they're now in a reusable template. So when we go ahead and add a new SNMP asset and set its type to printer, down below under OID recipes, you'll see all the recipes associated with printers. When I choose the recipe I created for my HP printers, all of the OIDs are added with the click of a button. Now you can still add additional OIDs on top of what your recipes include. For instance, if you have an older printer out in the field that you're waiting for it to go over a particular number of printed pages prior to replacing it, you can add that OID to your custom monitors above. When you're working with OID recipes and you make some changes, you can simply save it and it would be applied to all new SNMP assets utilizing this recipe from that point forward. Or, you can save your changes and apply them to all SNMP assets currently utilizing this recipe. This last piece I'd like to show you is built for no reason other than to offer support to our amazing community. If you've ever participated in our Facebook group, you'll know that Synchro retains one of the best communities on the planet, 
where our users are always willing to take time out of their busy schedules to help one another out. We're making that even easier by enabling you to turn your OID recipes into public links that you can freely share with the community. So once you've generated a public link, you can simply share the recipe by pasting the URL anywhere you like. Clicking that URL will load the contents of the recipe automatically, allowing you to add any final touches to it before saving it into your own recipes for later use. So that's SNMP monitoring with Synchro.